hello everybody welcome back to my channel of course this video is very different from my other videos I've been posting a little bit of reptile videos here and there and I feel so weird doing cooking videos and then videos on reptiles but we're just we're just gonna run with it because I am very passionate about both things and so that's what's gonna be on my channel Today, I did not plan on doing a video, especially on this, but I got so excited that I just have to. I have to do a video on this. Got my first, I think there's poop in here. It sounds like there's poop in this box. Yeah, okay. I got my first package from, I think it's dubia.com. And this is the first time ordering any type of insects online roaches, anything like that. Um, and they did seem to have a really, really good deal on the Juvia roaches as well as, let's see, what did I get? I got large nutri grubs, nutri grubs, I, that's how you pronounce it. I got a hundred for three dollars and then I got medium Juvia roaches, 400 for 48. And then I got medium hornworms, 12 for 550. There were more that you could, that could have been added. I forgot what they were, but I really didn't want to get too many different insects because I really don't want to introduce him to that many new things all at once. He's pretty good with dubias. He loves dubia roaches. He has no problem eating eating them. I think he can hear them screeching right now. So he's like bobbing his head, trying to see what's going on. The very first thing you see when opening this box, hold on, I'm going to place this box somewhere because I just cleaned this tub out. This is what my tub situation looks like. So I cleaned out all of my bins. These were all filled with powder and like calcium powder and poop. Why is that still filled with? Oh no, that's just condensation. Okay, we're good. So we cleaned all of these containers. All these containers are clean. This one uh, housed the last set of Dubia roaches I had. So this one's clean. This one was really stinky. So these are all clean, including the tongs. The tongs are clean. And then we have our new bugs right here. As you've seen, I didn't have any of the bugs in this big container. I had them in their own separate containers and I think that's how I want to keep it. I kind of like it as a transportation bin. It's super easy. That's where I grab the insects and transport them into different little tubs. I don't know. I just have like a little system that works really well for me. So I want to keep them in the smaller containers. But first thing you see when you open the package, well, my package, is the cutest sticker. I love this sticker. It's amazing. I love it so much. Oh, I love it. I don't know. I was super excited. And then the second thing you see are the hornworms. And I've never seen... Ugh. I'm going to have to get used to these. Just like the dubias, they don't really gross me out that much anymore because I've been handling them for about a week now. So, I mean, I probably still wouldn't try and touch it or pick it up with my hand, um, but they don't really freak me out as much. These, oh, they have like a little horn on their head. That's weird. Is that gonna stab my bearded dragon? <laughs> I don't know about anything. Um, but I am gonna, I think they're pretty, low so I don't think any of them will try and hop out of here. Oh, I'm scared. And I think that's their food on the bottom of this thing. Here are, whoa, don't fall out please. Here are the little horn worms, just in case. Oh, he's trying to escape already. Get down, you little the heck are you doing? 
Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rexy <laughs> just jumped up onto his log and he scared the crap out of me. I obviously don't do good with these things. I don't do good with anything. Everything scares me. Those are cool though. These are a really cool color. I'm excited to see if he likes them. He seems to be like very curious and he's shedding on his head right now. I'll show you guys him in a little bit. So the hornworms, those are gonna probably stay in this container just because they have their food in here and it doesn't seem like they need that much more space. He's going crazy. Uh, the dubias, I don't know if I wanna keep them in here, but there's 400 of them in here. I might switch them. Yeah, I might switch them into this container. This is what I had the other ones in. I really like this just because it's shallow and it, it's easier to grab them and puts the extra salad that Rexy doesn't eat in there. And then it's also easy to clean that salad out. So 400 roaches. And then the Nutri Grubs. I think that's how you pronounce it. The container isn't see-through, so um, it kind of frightens me a little bit. I'm going to open it over, over this bin because I really don't know what these things are capable of. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I'm a little terrified. Okay. All right. That's doable. Oh my God. Um, this kind of reminds me of if you guys have ever seen the movie, the lost boys, when he's like teasing him about his rice being maggots. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Because, like, the whole grain or whatever's in there is moving. Okay. I'm pretty nervous about these bugs. Uh, none of them seem to be... I don't even know if these are going to be too big for him to eat. I gotta do some Googling. Because I didn't know how big these were gonna be in person. All right, so what we are gonna do next, make sure I don't have anything else in the box. No. What I'm gonna do next is, I think as far as the hornworms and these little maggot looking things, I'm gonna keep them in here in those containers. And then the dubias, I'm probably going to try to transport them in this, at least some of them, in this container. So let's go ahead and do that. We have our container. We have, oh, a lot of bugs. And I honestly would be lying if I said I wasn't terrified, still terrified of these beetles or roaches. So, um, the other day I actually grabbed one with my tongs in here and then I went to go put it in Rexy's enclosure and I dropped it onto my carpet and I panicked because I have so much stuff on this shelf over here and I was like panicking, full panic mode. I was like, oh my God, he's already gone. He's already long gone. He's hidden under something. But luckily, the roach was dead, so I really didn't... He was just under the shelf, just laying there dead. So I grabbed him, and thankfully... Thankfully, he didn't escape. So I... How do I want to do this? I'm going to put this other one in here. I don't really want to dump the entire... Oh my god, there's so many. I really don't want to dump the entire container in here because of 
I just cleaned it and there's a lot of poop on the bottom of this one. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, look at this one. That one's like translucent. That's cool. I wonder why. It's odd. I think I might just... Oh God, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this. I'll try and shake them out. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of this thing for now. Oh my goodness, look at them. They're going crazy in there. I think, honestly, I'm gonna try and scoop these in here and then keep the rest in here because I really don't want to have to deal with trying to pick them all and we're just gonna keep them in separate containers. Oh no, those guys won't be able to get out. Maybe I can just keep all these containers in here. Yeah, that's good. Like that. And then I will keep the rest of these guys in here. I don't really have much to hide under. They're going to go crazy. So I'll put that back in there. Shoot. I don't know. Because I want to be able to put food in here as well. But it's not going to be fun. Maybe I'll just use these little cups as cups for the food. But I do want to put at least a little bit more in here without putting too much poop in there. Okay. Now we're just dumping poop in there. All right. I say that's pretty good for now. I'm gonna, where's the lid? God, where's the lid? What the heck? What did I do with the lid? Oh my gosh. You guys. That's under the freaking container. All right. So we're gonna put the lid on this. Um, we're gonna fill it with salad here in a little bit, but I do wanna feed Rexy, so that's what we're gonna do. Feed him 10. Um, in the morning, afternoon, and at night. So I feed him a total of 30 Dubia roaches a day. So I only fed him five, so I just need to give him, uh, what time is it? No, I'll feed him, I'll feed him dinner later. So I just need to feed him 15. Yeah, I need to feed him 15. So I'm gonna grab 15 of these guys. One. Uh, Two, 13. We're gonna do 13 dubia roaches, and then I think I'm gonna do two. Nutri grubs. I'll try these guys. Let's see here. Grab that guy. And this guy. Stop attacking the, get off my tongs. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Horse Rexy had to poop on his log. So I cleaned that up real quick. And now it is time to eat. So we're gonna open this guy up. And I'm gonna set this over here cause he likes to he likes to um, leap at the the bin, so I don't want him leaping out. Here, Rexy, right there. Good job. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely here. Try one of these. See if he likes that. Oh no, he might not like the Nutri Grub. Here, look, it's moving. Sometimes he'll wait until the bug moves, tries to run away before he eats it. It's funny. Okay. So, did you like that one? I think he likes these roaches more. Let's do this. It's always a mess. It's always chaotic trying to feed him. Oh, careful. Oh my goodness, you are acting crazy right now. There we go. 
Right here? Rexy! Oh no. No, no, no. Don't go under there. Yeah, that's just sucky thing about these paper towels is they'll run under the paper towels. Get it. Good job. He's pretty smart though. As soon as he sees these tongs, he knows that something is on the tong. And he goes for it. Oh, buddy, sorry. Look at this, get it. Right here. You see it moving? It doesn't move as fast. There you go. acting starving right now. Oh no! Oh shoot! This one's fast. Good job. These ones were a little bit smaller than the other ones, but the other ones grew so fast, I think, that some of them were just a little too big for him. <laughs> all right we are all done and you liked the neutral rug so oh and by the way the humidity i got the humidifier and the humidity is now 30 percent in there which is a lot better than 40 it's a lot better than it was before it was at around 40 percent humidity and that was just too much. So thankfully the humidifier has been on for probably about 24 hours now and it jumped, or I guess not jumped, but what's opposite of jumped? Jumped backwards, 10% humidity. So that's perfect. Now, uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a damp paper towel and then some leftover salad for these guys. Uh, I think the Nutri Grubs and the Hornworms already have food, so I don't think I have to worry about those, but I will end up doing research after this video. Have some damp paper towels, and if you didn't know the um, Dubia roaches can suck out the moisture out of these paper towels for them to drink. So I'm gonna place one in here. Probably just gonna place it right there. And then in here, oh cool, there's none in these little holes so I can put the salad in there. All right, I'm gonna probably put this paper towel here and then the salad, which is just collard greens. I'm just gonna put a little bit in each. And usually I'll take out the salad and exchange it or change it, <laughs> refreshen it every day, usually. Cause I kind of feel bad if they're eating two day old salad. It's kind of gross. And they'll also get the, their moisture from how much water is in and on the collard greens leaves themselves. And we're gonna go ahead and lock everything up. And this container is the absolute perfect size. I can just slide it right in here. And it's perfect. All right, me and Rexy say goodbye, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye!